Okay, uh, on the uh, series of uh, books on VIP protection, and uh, we've already reviewed uh, Pete Considine's book, Streetwise, uh, because he's well known as being an instructor in self-protection, martial arts, <clears throat> excuse me, he runs the British Combat Association, and so on. And that's what most of you viewers, I'm sure, will know Peter from. But he is also um, held in very high regard in the field of VIP protection. Uh, he worked as a bodyguard. Uh, he was a bodyguard instructor on courses. And he also uh, ran a security company for a long time. And he had some very high profile clients and worked in places like Russia, Algiers and so on, Algeria and so on. Great background in the industry. And um, quite a few years ago, he wrote a book called The Modern Bodyguard. And at the time, it was possibly the first real training manual on, on uh, VIP protection, certainly in England, um, but really anywhere. And uh, I had the book and I gave it away to a friend uh, who was in the business uh, overseas and he wanted a decent book on it, gave, gave him Peter's book. Anyway, Peter's brought out a new edition of it and uh, this is it, it's been updated and he very kindly sent me a copy of it. One of the uh, additions is um, some material on the SIA, Security in Industries Authority, which um, governs all aspects of security in the UK and uh, in my opinion, has been detrimental. I don't think Pete uh, has much of a, of a higher opinion of them, and he kind of puts some of the uh, coursework into, into perspective. One of the things he um, makes a point of is that in the SIA syllabus, they have included CNR, control and restraint. And in Peter's view, this is not suitable for VIP protection. Uh, which I agree with, but also I don't think the CNR works anyway. The the stuff that's being taught by the SIA approved uh, instructors is um, is unworkable in in the um, spheres that it's supposed to work in. Uh, there are methods of of control and restraint uh, that have originated in the United States. Paul Sharp, for example, uh, was involved in in a system which uh, I, I've, I've had some experience of, which is, is the only one that I, I would rate. But there again, it's not for VIP protection. So that, that, that's one of the things. Another update, he, he, he discusses um, the PSD uh, work in Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, which has come about uh, since the first edition came. And basically what Pete says, is that a lot of what's going on over there is basically um, military convoy procedures rather than uh, classic VIP protection. And that, that, that's a, a good point. Uh, the book is uh, very comprehensive as regards drills and procedures and so on. I'll, I'll just... Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the stuff is diagrammed out. Um, also, that's foot drills, also um, vehicle drills. And he, he makes a, a very important point that when you're learning these drills, they're, they're not set in stone. And he says, um, adapt, don't adopt. In other words, adapt the drill to the situation rather than adopting a drill as being set in stone. And, and um, that's something that's uh, a geographical... Uh, a geometric formation that you can't change it's all subject to change uh, as you might expect from peter uh, one of the uh, sections um, is on close quarter combat unarmed combatives in the book um, which he covers in in um, great detail and uh, also fitness now peter's done uh, a whole book on fitness, uh, which is well worth uh, getting in of itself. And I always remember something he wrote um, that he used to do a, a Sunday session, him and a few uh, fellow um, like-minded fellows. And they, they used to do a lot of hill running, carrying partners up and down hills and so on. 
and he did this um, every Sunday when he, when he was in the country. And he said, the sessions were so hard that you had trouble sleeping the night before. You, you, you were so apprehensive about just how hard it was going to be. And, and he, he, he said that it's important to train like that. And I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, that kind of training is what you need for the task of, um, of uh, VIP protection at any level where you're working on the ground. Uh, and to, to put yourself through that kind of training at regular intervals, to me, is a must. It builds the type of um, fitness and it builds the type of mental toughness that, that really is required. There's also a great section on um, firearms and, and uh, shooting. Uh, I've been on the range with Peter many times. Uh, he's a really good shot, know, knows what he's doing there. And uh, Peter, if you're watching this, you were right about Weaver Stance. Yeah, really to sum up, I, I would say this book um, is written, if, if anyone is... Uh, contemplating taking up a career in VIP protection, the book would be a really good framework. Obviously, you've got to train, you've got to have some really intensive training, but the book would be a guide for that and a reference during the training. Uh, make your own notes and additions and, and so on, but uh, you would have that structure. And um, it, it's uh, an inexpensive, but very, very uh, comprehensive and um, detailed guide to modern VIP protection.